kufanya hivi. Kwa maana unajua hata hata ndio nimeongea na yeye lakini unajua sasa hii ndio mtu anajua kama marafiki yake. Kwa sababu sasa hata ukiniambia niongee nimekwambia nilikuwa na yeye jana. Unajua unajua sasa hii bibi yake ni mgonjwa. Sasa mimi saa hii mtoto unaona siki unanyua mambo yake. Eh? Ndio najua kama umeshindwa ate sawa sana. Eh? Unajua nimekueleza inatakiwa shilingi 1400 na 20. Sasa ukinipatia tu mia... Okay, na pipiti. Mongo mongo acha kunipeleka hivyo. Sasa we ni mtu ya tano sasa. Sasa kila mtu akianza kusema hivyo. Na unajua mongo mahali tumetoana na wewe haki wacha kusema hivyo. Mimi ndo mimi ndo wacha mimi nionge. Fanya hivi sikiliza eh. Alo? Alo? Aki mungu amenikatia simu yake. Sasa mtu anayetaka. Hadija. Mama Zubeo. Unakuambia hii watu hapana jua kasi. Angalia mahali bai mnaweka. Kama hawezi fungusa. Si hapana watu wanakula mchana alafu naenda kusaidia. Na unaona nyupa hiyo kafet uliwacha uliwacha na maji kwa nini? Aje waje maji. Lazamba hapo chakula na magika. Hakuna kitu na Bianca wao wanakubali. Sikia. Saa hii nimemaliza. Saa hii nimetoka nikiongea na simu. Nimeongea na Mongo ni mtu ya tano. Ah, amekubali. Ile watu wengine nne isipokuwa moja. Moja ndiye akwa na bibi yake ile na saa juzi ile tulienda kusalamia yeye. Hiyo tu. Lakini nyingine yote nasema uwe si SB na SB yako na na stress. Sasa visi stress yetu sisi ta defanka nayo. Na mimi na mtu kama Mongo unajua kisha alikuja anaanza karibu karibu anaenda na magoti kwa sababu mtoto yake alikuwa anaenda ngambo na tulisaidia yeye hapa hapa. Sasa ile kitu iko lazamba vile yeye anakuja hapo mgoti hata sisi naenda mgoti kulelea. Kilisa wewe utasaidia aje hii maneno? Wewe utasaidia aje? Yeye anakuja. Utasaidia aje? Asikiza lazamba. Utasaidia aje na, na watu ya majera na lialianga tu vile utafanya hii maneno. Sikia. Hii maneno tutamalizia hapo. Mimi nitaenda. Sikia. Lazamba sasa. Sasa tena umechoka. Sikia. Wewe hapana unawachilia mimi sana. Ntacho mato ligi hii mtoto Uh, 420,000 si kitu ya kuchetea iko mahali nenda enda nikitengeneza hiyo maneno taita wewe hata kama taita wewe uweke sign taita wewe uweke si, 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 ta, sign kwa hivyo iko mahali saa hii wewe nakuja kuweka sign haya kuna shida sasa ila yeah. kitu iko hiyo mahali wewe unajua yeah. and wacha mimi namaliza bala alafu naingia kwa jumba na jina na sasa tuma foda foda ichukue wewe eh. ama 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 ntajifanga ntajifanga na kueleza ls bigia simu mm. alafu mimi naenda na bigia simu nini na hata ubebanki simu Kwenda Simu la zamba jana tu maanguko kwa maji. Vile utafanya ila watu enda uelese patia last onim. Empea kama uwezi kati mimi nitafungusa. Mimi naenda saa hii nichukue ile hata bag yangu ile ilikuwa na ile ma document niende. Enda enda enda. Enda. Arakisha Alexander Jospat. Ndio ndio mimi. Sema ndio mheshimiwa. Na eh? Sema mheshimiwa. Na mgani kwa nini mheshimiwa? Wewe sema ndio mheshimiwa. Ndio mheshimiwa. Unashtakiwa ya kwamba eh. mnamo tarehe nane mwezi uliopita mwaka huu eh. katika ofisi za Mabora Insurance Company eh. uliharibu mali katika ofisi hiyo. Mali yangu. Mali ya hiyo ofisi ya hiyo Mabora Insurance Company. Ah unajua hata siku ile ingine nilikueleza hii ni fitina. Ndio sasa nilikuwa nataka kukuuliza eh. leo utakubali mashtaka au bado utakataa? Kama ni mali ya wenyewe kama uliharibu hiyo mali. Siwezi kubali kama ni mali ya wenyewe. Kwa hivyo bado unakataa. Bado unakataa. Kiongozi wa mashtaka mashahidi wamekuja. Mheshimiwa kulingana na upande wa mashtaka, ushahidi ni kwamba ama ukweli wa kesi ni kwamba mshtakiwa alikuwa na mkataba na Bima Bora Insurance Company Limited ya bima ya maisha ambapo ikimaliza miaka kumi, atapewa pesa shilingi elfu mbili. Lakini mheshimiwa baada ya miaka saba, Tarehe nane alienda kwenye ofisi ya bima bora akaitisha ile pesa ambayo alikuwa ameweka kwenye mkataba wa bima na akaambiwa kwamba angeweza kurudishwa shilingi 1022 badala ya kwa ametoa premium 1084 alivusha alitoa fujo akaharibu mali katika hiyo ofisi mheshimiwa mm. na upande wa mashtaka una mashahidi ambao ni watatu ambao utakuja kutoa ushahidi na kama wewe ni shahidi na uko hapa ndani unatakiwa utoke nje Oh. Huyo mtu ambaye alikuwa ameharibu mali 
katika ofisi ya Binabora Insurance Company Limited ndio mheshimiwa ambaye alikuwa anadai arudishiwe pesa za lile bima ambaye alikuwa wakati wake ya kumachua hujafika yuko wapi ndio huyo mbele ya mahakama mheshimiwa ni haya tu mheshimiwa kwa ushahidi una swali kwa shahidi kwa ile mtikali eh ndio endelea nauliza wewe mimi yuko na deni yako Ah wewe una deni yangu. Wewe yuko na deni yangu? Sina deni yako mimi. Ulichunguza ukajua kampuni yuko na pesa yangu? Nilichunguza nikajua. Na ukakuta wana wananyang'anya mimi pesa ngapi? Ah wale ita post house anapatia mimi 22,000 na mimi natoa pesa mwaka saba ulijua hivyo? Nilijua hivyo lakini makosa ilikuwa ni yako. Ya kotoa? Kwa sababu ile mkataba mlikuwa mmeandikana na ile kampuni ilikuwa ijafika hizo miaka kumi. ndio ulikuwa unataka hizo pesa. Mheshimiwa tunaye shahidi mwingine. It is true. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me daddy. God. What's that? Is it a red? Can you inform the court your full names? Eh my full names is Dr. Idikoko Ofoneke. Dr. Idikoko Ofoneke. Yes sir. Where do you come from? I I come from Nigeria but I am running a certain organization here in this your country. So you are you are you are doing this? Yeah, I'm a businessman. For how long have you been in the country? I've been in the country for around uh, it is now around 4 years. Around 4 uh, years. And one day and 22 seconds. Yes. Eighth of last month. Yes sir. Where were you at around 10 to 11? Oga, I remember very well sir. That that day I had gone to Bibambora Insurance Company. Yes. Uh, I've told you I'm a business, a very prominent businessman from Nigeria. Yeah. And uh, this this uh, Bibambora company we transact business together. So most of the time when I'm having some business we go and talk. We are clients. Oh, you are a client of Bima Bore? Yes, sir. And then, what happened when you were there? Eh, uh, Augusta, I cannot forget. In fact, I recorded in this my GSM. Whatever was happening there, I didn't like it too. There was this kind of... My, when I was just sitting there and taking some coffee, waiting for my turn to enter inside the office. Then, all of a sudden, this man came out of nowhere and started making noise. In fact, he was shouting, uh, there's this Kuswahili word. Haki yangu, pesa yangu, pesa yangu. Only to come and realize that pesa yangu meant uh, my money. Uh -huh. Then later on, he started shouting, Haki yangu, haki yangu, haki yangu. I thought that was the new song in Kenya. Only to come and realize haki yangu meant my right. Yes. So this man was dismantling things. He was throwing <coughs> mobile <coughs> phones <coughs> everywhere. And, <coughs> everywhere, <coughs> and, everywhere, <coughs> and <coughs> please <coughs> shut up, it is my time to talk. <coughs> so he was throwing mobile phones <coughs> everywhere. Computers were flying all of you. You may think it is computer flying inside the internet. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, what is uh, happening here? Where, where? Do you know what was happening? Come on, you could do your Do you know what was happening? I, I came to realize that, that this Mr. Man was complaining. That he, from what I understood, this man had a sick baby. So the baby was sick and he wanted to be given his money. Though his time had not reached yet. According to you, to whatever they were saying, he was supposed to start taking his money, I think, after 10 years. Yeah. But this man came during the seven years. He had a policy. He, there was a pol policy in that, in that company. Yes. That he's supposed to come for his money during the, after 10, maybe 10 years. Yes. But this man was coming after seven. And he was saying, oh, this money you are giving me, it is not enough. I want more. This is not, not what I've been paying. That is what I understood from the whole story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so from there, I just left. I just stepped by because I didn't want to get old. This man almost threw, threw a computer on me. I could have looked like the desktop of the computer. Yeah, you yourself. Yeah, After, whatever happened. <laughs> hey, okay, I'm telling you, it is not something to laugh about. Is, 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 is a man here in this court? Of course, I cannot forget that his face. So, okay, God bless you, sir. You're not okay. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Natoka wapi? Kenya, ametoka Nigeria. Natoka Nigeria, Nigeria anaanza. Nigeria. Na sasa amekuja hapa Kenya kufanya kazi. Sasa anasema siku hiyo ya hii kesi, yeye alikuwa kwa ofisi moja. Bima bora insurance. Anasema bima bora insurance. Sasa wakati akiwa huko, wewe alikukuta unapiga kelele, huko ukaanza kupiga makelele, ukisema unataka pesa yako, pesa yako. Na alikuwa na pesa yangu. Si yeye alikuwa na pesa yako. Na kwa nini? Umeenda kudai ndiye amesema. Na dai nani? Ulikuwa umeenda kwa hiyo bima bora kudai pesa yako. Pesa ya nani? Bima bora insurance company. Bima bora insurance company. Bima bora hiyo bima bora. Alikuwa amekuja kudai. Mm -hmm. Sasa alikakuta huko, ulikuwa unapiga kelele ukisema pesa yangu, pesa yangu. Mm. Baada ya dakika chache ukaanza kuvunja vunja vitu kwa hiyo ofisi. 
Hiyo ndio hiyo maana nayo hata ni hiyo umesema. Na alisema kwamba alisikia ukizungumzia kwamba ni insurance ambayo ulikuwa nayo na hiyo kampuni eh. ambayo muda wake ulikuwa hujafika na ulikuwa umeenda huko muda wa miaka saba. Kutoa. Kutoa na ulikuwa na ulikuwa ume sign contract ndia. Na hiyo yote wacha hiyo ni ukweli. Hii nyingine hata alisema uliamini yeye. Wewe una swali kwa shahidi? Eh sasa. Si huyo. Si mimi unauliza ule. Kijana. Wewe unatoka Nigeria? Mhm. Where do you come from? I come from Nigeria. Do I need to repeat myself? Anasema ametoka Nigeria vile alikuwa amesema. Na kuja Kenya eh. Na katika mama bora. Wewe anafanya nini? Bima bora. Ni sawa sawa anafanana ni kama boma kwa sababu ni ya mwenyewe. Na atafuta nini kwa boma bora? What do you do at Bima Bima Bora Insurance? Eh uh, I don't work there. I am only Bima Bora and I are we are clients. I am a client there. So we turn sock business together. Yeah, fanyi huko. Uh. Ana wanafanya biashara na Bima Bora Insurance Company. Oh. Yeah, ni mteja, ni mteja. Mujata, mteja. Uh, uh. Na sasa hiyo yeah, kampuni ya Bima Bora ilikuwa na deni yake. Wewe muulize. Ako na deni yako kwa Bima Bora? Did they did they own you anything? Any... No, they don't own me anything. Oh. We are only business. Uh, ni kazi, ni biashara tu anafanya pamoja hana pesa yake. Umemaliza maswali? Sina haja na hiki jana. Kama hana shida mimi niko na shida okay, na kampuni. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Unashahidi you mwingine? Ya tu ashahidi mwingine. Ndisma uko juzi na jua mwingine. The way you are making us enjoy. Naurudia maneno. Sema mimi. Mimi. Ndio kinyuka kuota. Ndio kinyuka kuota. Na hapa ya kwamba. Na hapa ya kwamba. Maneno ambayo nitasema mbele ya koti hii. Maneno ambayo nitasema mbele ya koti hii. Ni ya ukweli. Ni Kweli mtu. Eh Mungu nisaidie. Fahamisha mahakama majina kamili unaitwa nani? Yes, mimi ni naitwa Gideon Nondie Kinyuka Kota. Mimi ni claims manager katika kampuni ya Bima Bora Insurance Company Mwesimiwa. Headquarters yetu iko Nairobi Kenya. Mnamo tarehe nane mwezi jana saa za yes. asubuhi. Yes. Bwana Ondie kambali ni claims manager wa Bima Bora yes. Insurance Company. Ndio. Elezea ni kitu gani kitokea kuhusu kesi hii? Yeah. Kama kawaida hiyo siku nilikuwa kwa office najua working days mimi natoka nyumbani 4:30 and wasipatikane na jami hapa barabarani. By 6:30 niko ndani ya office. Ndiyo. I love my job very much. Ndiyo. Ni kuna endelea kufanya kazi hii masaa asubuhi iko jamaa aliingia pale kwa ofisi yangu. Na alikuja na document yake ya policy document na akaelezea kwamba bila inakuja anakuja kuitisha pesa yake ile mekoto. Alikuwa na policy mm. document ya nini? Ndiyo. Alikuwa na policy document ambayo ilikuwa inaonyesha kwamba ako na bima na kampuni yetu bima ya life assurance ya kwamba na ingekuwa ilikuwa ni bima miaka kumi mheshimiwa kwa hivyo ingemachua e, after 10 years ingemachua after 10 years ndio na ilikuwa imeonyesha kabisa baada ya miaka kumi, yeye angepatiwa shilingi elfu mbili. ndio na katika ile kuonyesha katika ile mkataba alionyesha kwamba atakuwa na lipa premium ama kulipia ile bima shilingi elfu moja kila mwezi kwa mwaka mmoja hiyo ni 1012. Ndio. Kwa miaka saba ile alikuwa amelipia, alikuwa amelipa 840 84000 mheshimiwa. Ndio. Not 840 it is 84000 ambayo alikuwa amelipia kwa miaka saba. Na alikuwa ataka nini? Na alikuwa nakuja sasa kusema ile pesa alikuwa ameambiwa katika contract atalipwa baada ya miaka kumi sasa anaitaka kabla ya miaka kumi. Alafu anasema tuanze ku deduct tutoe ingine ya miaka tatu, siju bila alikuwa na hesabu ye mwenyewe ndio nikamuelezea sababu yeye ni kufunja na funja mkataba na ameshindwa kuendelea kwa miaka kumi. kuna method ama kuna njia ambayo inatumika ikifika ku calculate ili tujue tutamrudisha ule mtu ambaye amevunja mkataba ule mtu amefunja mkataba tutamrudishia kiasi gani ndio na ndio nilimweleza katika ile formula ambayo tunatumia Kat, ile pesa ambayo alikuwa me, amelipa ya ya premium ama kulipia ile bima yake ilikuwa ni 84000 ndio na ile kitu ambayo tungeweza kumulipa ama kumrudishia ni one third of the paid premium mm -hmm. ambayo ilikuwa inakuja 22000 mheshimiwa ndio alileta tabu akasema ya kwamba bima yake ilikuwa lipwe 200000 na sasa anamwambia mambo ya 22 <coughs> ndio nikamwambia tayari yako ni afadhali ingekuwa umekuja baada ya miaka mbili Useme kwamba unataka tiupatiwe ile pesa ama unataka kuacha hakuna kitu ungeweza kulipwa. Kwa hivyo sasa bila umekuwa na sisi kwa miaka saba. tukikakulate tunaona utarudishiwa 22000 Kenya shillings mheshimiwa. Na alifanya kitu gani baada ya kusikia kwa ama atarudishwa shilingi 2022? Wacha, wacha nikwambie ule msi nilijaribu kumuelezea kuna watu ambao ni ngumu kuelewa. Let me tell you my brother. 
it is like talking to a stone unaona unaongelesa mtu mapi inaingilia hapa inatokea hapa mpaka sasa nikaita watu wengine kwa office wakuja muelezee nikatafuta hata mtu ambaye ni asili yake mtu ambaye anatoka pale natoka pande ya Kajado kaongelesa yenye lugha ya nyumbani akamweleza taratibu bado hakuelewa akaleta fujo akaanza kupiga nisa machukua simu tupa nisa huko akachukua kompyuta akafunja ak- alikuwa na rungu kumbe alikuwa amejua na kuja fita wacha funja funje vio wacha funja funje kompyuta na vitu huko kwa office ba files anatupa nisa anasema kwamba tunamnyang'anya haki yake mheshimiwa ndio niliweza kuita polisi na ndio akafunja na ningependa uelezee ufafanulie koti mm. umuhimu ya kufuata mkataba mm. mkataba alikuwa amesema ni miaka kumi. miaka kumi. Na ndio yamachua hiyo hiyo insurance hiyo hiyo ni yake eh, policy yake ingemachua after 10 years, years. angelipo 200000 ndio na katika ile katika ka, 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 ile katika mkataba ambaye alikuwa nao na na, na kampuni yetu inaelezea mzuri kabisa ya kwamba hii mkataba itachukua muda wa miaka kumi. na takoda lipia hiyo bima yake ceiling elfu moja kila mwezi kwa muda wa miaka kumi. Ndiyo. na baadaye angepata ile sama sword 200000 Mwisimi wa kufanya hivyo. Na inaelezea kabisa ikiwa utafunja baada ya miaka kama hiyo yake saba alikuwa anekuja. Analipwa one third ya ile premium ambayo alikuwa alikuwa amelipia. Na kitu kingine ambao ningependa kuelezea huyu Musa na nilijaribu kumuelezea. Nikamwambia wakati ya kusaini mkataba na kampuni yetu, ingekuwa kuna kitu ambao uelewi katika ile mkataba. Ungeenda kwa IRA, Insurance Regulatory Authority. Ndiyo. Wako pale wako tu hapa hapa hill place hapa hapa hill zipri place enda hapo uliza mawaidha waambie niko na hii mkataba na hii insurance that is within 30 days waweze kukusaidia kukusomea ikiwa kuna pahali ambapo utaona hujaelewa ama uone ya kwamba pana pali pana shida then una, una uwezo wa kwenda kusimamisha ile ile bima uambie utaendelea sababu kuna pahali ambapo hukuelewa na ungependa uelezewe saidi mwezi kwa hivyo ni muhimu mtu akiweka mkataba Dio kama ni miaka kumi, Ndiyo. subiri miaka kumi. Asubiri miaka kumi. si kufika katikati ya tuzuri umepata shida unakimbia unakuja kuchukua. Hiyo haiita wesekana. Na haita kusaidia. Haita haita kusaidia na ile kitu tafanyike ni utaonekana ni kama kupoteza unapoteza sababu bila umefanya ni, ni ile mkataba unafunja. Na huyo mtu yuko wapi? Ule yuko hapa huyo mse. Na ninaambia watu wote wa Kenya wote jumla pale popote wanaona wanasikia wana wanasikiliza waweze kuelewa ya kwamba IRA Insurance Regulatory Authority inasaidia kabisa lakini kwa hii kesi ya hibu se hata akienda huko ama aende wapi hawezi saidika na unaona watu wa IRA ndio wanaleta usawa katika mambo yote ya bima na sasa huyu mzee unajua katika mkataba yetu amesign na alielewa na sasa narudi kukuja baadaye ati sasa apatiwe apatiwe pesa yake yote wewe mshtaki una swali kwa shahidi ndio hako na swali kwa mwaka saba nimetoa ngapi 84000 pesa yangu ama yako ili pesa yako liko melipa mtu akitaka pesa yake wakati anataka anaomba ruhusa si akusimambe ya kuomba ruhusa ile mse nataka kukuelezea ni kwamba tuko na mkataba kulingana na ushahidi eh. ambao umetolewa mbele ya koti hii eh. koti ni pesa yangu imeonelea una kesi ya kujibu kesi ya mimi kulipwa pesa kujibu unaitwa nani majina yako kamili mimi naitwa ngo Alexander Jasper unaishi wapi mimi ndimo sirko unaishi wapi kwa kwetu Kwenye ni wapi? Kwa Kajado County. Kajando Kajado County. County. Mm-hmm. Unaweza kujitetea? Tutaweza kutetea mimi mwenyewe. Jitetee. Mimi nasema nime Unajua kwa msema mmoja kwetu nasema meiyo ingeza ngwa lakai. Mm? Nasema hiyo msema nasema kama ngombe nafuatia mtu na kaa nayo wakati yeye anakuja kuchukua hakuna complaint. Lakini sasa ngombe yangu nafuatiana kwa hiyo bima bora na ka mimi nataka hiyo ngombe yangu apatie mimi na mimi alikuwa na shida hii mambo ya mtakaba ndio mimi sielewi hii kitu ni kartasi tu hiyo ni hivi tu lakini tufuate pesa pesa yangu ako mwaka saba lakini nilikuwa na yenyewe na shida ya mtoto na kuwa ni mkonjwa na nataka 420000 sasa nikaona mali mimi tayasa toa ni hiyo kwa sababu ni kama account account yangu ni message sasa kwenda kuitisha imekuwa kesi mrefu na mimi nime nimesikiliza saa hii nimeona nyewe kama kama ilikuwa imesema mwaka kumi makosa iko pande yangu kusema kweli 
Kwasa hiyo vitu nilivunja funja mimi hata baadaye najiuliza vitu nafunja funja ya nini na sio ndio iko na deni yangu. Umeona sasa? 